You both said today that you love each other and I believe it, but I'm trying to tell you love is not enough for a successful marriage. There are so many other things that go in it. It's not just about you anymore. Here is today's case. Chris has way too many excuses for me, and I want answers. My fiance, Kate, she blows everything out of proportion. I feel like my fiance has been hiding something from me, and I'm gonna find out today. She talks a whole lot, but she just doesn't listen. I cannot be in this relationship anymore if he's gonna continue to lie to me. I haven't been lying about anything that's been going on between us. The last two years have been nothing but problems. I'm tired of being accused of all that stuff she's been saying about me. And you know what? That ends today. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Dixon versus Greer. Thank you, Juan. Kay Dixon? Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Chris Greer... Yes, Your Honor. ...to court today. You say the two of you have been in a relationship for five years. Yes. You've been engaged for three. Yes. And now you're having a series of problems. Yes. And you want to discuss them in divorce court today. Yes. yes. I'll start with you, ma'am. Why don't you give me some background? Okay. Well, Chris and I have been together for five years. We've been engaged for three. Mm -hmm. um, when we first got together, it was all good. He completely took care of me. He was paying all of the bills. Just a great guy. Um, lately, as of, what, earlier this year, mm -hmm. he asked me to go half on all of the bills, um, knowing that I've been, well, my job has been um, impacted by, obviously, COVID-19, so I'm not making the money that I was before. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of strange to me for him to ask me to go half on bills when he's never done that before. Also, um... Well, has his job changed due to the pandemic? Well, yeah. He, so, he's a truck driver. So, he's... At first, he was local, but now he's over the road. Mm -hmm. um, so, he's gone more now. Um, and I'm not understanding why he wants me to pay the bills because he's over the road. So, that's more money, right? So, and he's gone for periods of time. And, um... We should be good on, on, on money. So that, that just kind of... So what, what's up. going on, Mr. Greer? Has there been a sudden change uh, in the yes, financial responsibilities in the home? Yes, it has, Your Honor. Um, with us getting ready to get married, mm -hmm. I think that we need to become more of a partnership, mm -hmm. you know, within the relationship. You know, I want her to get used to paying half of what's going on because I've I... been supporting her and her three kids, mm -hmm. you know, myself. Okay. And since I am picking up a few more hours than I usually have and actually going over the road, being o be gone for, for a while, of course I'm making more money, but we have more expenses. We have the, the wedding okay. that actually has to be postponed mm -hmm. and things like that due to COVID. So, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, I want her to help me out. So, I mean, that seems reasonable and fair, especially when the two of you have been together for five years now. She said that she's lost income due to the pandemic, though. Did that happen? Yes, she did a little bit, yeah. But, you know, I've made up for it. But, you know, just to get used Is to... Is she able to pay half with her income now? She should be able to. Yeah. According to what you know, even with yeah. the loss of income, she should still be able to pay half comfortably, according to you? Yeah, but sure, she should. So honor, what is the issue? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. But there's also um, the issue with his credit cards. Mm -hmm. I've been noticing, because I, even when he was taking care of everything, um, one thing I just don't understand why now I have to take... We're, yeah, he says he's trying to get me acclimated to be married, mm -hmm. But we weren't married, and I was paying half. Anyway, um... But now he's asking you to pay half. The two yeah. of you are getting married. A wedding costs a lot of money, a lot mm -hmm. of expenses. And according to him, he believes you can afford to pay half of the bills. I just... I don't see that as being unreasonable going into okay. a marriage. I, it's just... Mm -hmm. It's just different. It's, that's all I'm saying. It's just it's different. different. Okay. It's, it's a switch up in his... His whole thing, in our thing. Anyway, also, um, when... By him taking care of all the bills, I... Even though he has the money, I still pay the bills. So I was going over a credit card statement and was finding out that, um... He's been going to a lot of different, like, 
restaurants. Mm -hmm. And I've been to these restaurants with him. Doesn't look like it's only him eating. And then he's like, well, when he gets home, I'm like, well, where's my food? Oh, well, I just, I just stopped by, you know, on my way back, whatever. So you just stop at a four-star Italian restaurant on your way back home from out of town. And he's ordering multiple pasta dishes? Is that what you're saying? It's not multiple. It's just the amount. It looks of... like he's eating for more than one person. Oh, is he eating with somebody? He can't eat... He's not eating $75, $80 worth of food. Of okay, pasta. Mr. Greer? I'm a big guy. Boy, I have to stop. eat. I can't, you, why can't are I you, have... Are you dining out with someone else? No. Okay. That wasn't no, convincing I'm just... at all. Now, the thing is, what she's actually been seeing is that um, they made some problems. They had some problems with the, with the, with the, the amount of money that was spent for the dinner. Mm -hmm. And so they were trying to rectify the situation. Of course, it takes like five to seven business So days. we're talking about just one dinner here where you think no, where there was No, there's been several. And on top of that, they still have not refunded the money. So I'm not even... Whatever. So you think, you think that he is doing what, ma'am? I think that he is eating with someone else. And one time he told me it was him and his co-workers and all of that stuff. You're a truck driver. You drive by yourself. What co-workers are we there, talking about here? There are other people that work at the company. I get it, but I don't, I don't get it. I'm not... So, I'm Mr. Not Greer, Mr. I get it. Mr. Greer, are you dining out with someone else? Are you going out on other dates is what she's asking. No, I'm going out with co-workers and, you know, sometimes it's my turn to foot the bill. So Are you having sex with okay. these co-workers too? Because our sex life has changed as well. I also received a voicemail and a phone call at my job from another woman. I submitted the voicemail, ma'am. Would you like to hear it? I would definitely like to hear the voicemail. Hi, this message is for Kay, I think it is. I think you should give me a call back. Um, I have some important information that you might not know about. We have a lot in common. In curiosity, I call her back, and this woman tells me that she has been in a relationship with Chris. Well, what type of relationship? You could be in a relationship. I could be in a relationship with, with, with Bailiff over there. What kind of relationship are we in? She's saying that they were just homies? Ms. Dixon, mm -hmm. what else is happening? Our sex life has changed. Um, we used to have sex almost every day, two, sometimes three times a day. Um, and just lately, that has diminished as well. And that's all been this year as well? Yeah. Why have the two of you been engaged for so long? Three years is a long time Three to years be is a long time. We've been, well, I think that's mostly me, I would say, because I just want to... Yeah. Even though he is taking care of everything, see what I'm saying? He don't even take this serious. Even though he's taking care of everything, I don't want to come into the marriage like that. I want to come to the table with something. So I'm trying to get myself together so that I can match what he's doing. But you don't want to pay half the bills. No, I don't. So you want to come right in the marriage? So you want to get yourself ready to come in the marriage and still have him pay all the bills? So what exactly are you getting yourself ready to do? Get married. Okay. <laughs> so that's it. See, th yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, that's what I'm talking about. But so, you can't start out paying all the bills and then in a pandemic ask me to pay half and then tell me, are you trying to get me acclimated? Not? So, Mr. Greer. Yes. So she's saying that there have been all of these changes recently with now you want her to pay half the bills. I think it's understandable. But the credit card bills and the dinners and also your, your, your sex life. Are, okay. are there, have there been a lot of changes? Well, yes, Lately? because I'm used to driving locally, mm -hmm. you know, just in the city. Mm -hmm. Now I'm actually going over the road. I'm going to different states. And when I come home, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I remember one time that, you know, I came home and she was dressed up in lingerie, mm -hmm. had the candles lit and all the rest of the stuff, which I thought was very romantic. Mm -hmm. But I was tired. And I was like, you know, maybe uh, in the morning I'll take care of you. I didn't, in, in the morning... It took, uh, it took care of you, didn't I? But I, I just want to know, you said there's been a lot of changes, and he's saying that it's because of work and the fact that he doesn't drive locally anymore. It's long distance, so there's been an entire change in his work schedule this year. 
you said that you were actually supposed to get married this month. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you had to postpone the wedding because of everything happening with the pandemic. Correct. Right? Yes. You have other suspicions. Yes. I'm just going to lay it out. I think that he's seeing someone else. There was a text message. She went through my phone. What did no, you see? No, I did not. It what said, did you see? hey, baby. I mean, if your text messages are open and a hey, baby text comes through, you're asleep and I'm there, yeah, I'm going to look over there and look at it. So you, you saw the words, hey, baby, and what did you do when you saw those words? I looked when on you... top of the text message, on top of the working late, on top of the out of town, on top of us not having sex. These numbers are not adding up at all. Wow. Well, Mr. Greer, who's the woman? If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. You also say that outside of the issue with the credit cards, you have other suspicions. Yes. Tell me about that. I think that he, I'm just gonna lay it out, I think that he's seeing someone else. Mm -hmm. um, I have, uh, besides his behavior, besides the change in his behavior, mm -hmm. there was a text message. To who? To Chris. Okay, so you looked through phone. his phone? I'm, no, it, I didn't go through it at the, initially mm -hmm. it was just his phone was out, he was asleep, and his phone was just of out. Of course and, it was. So she went through my phone. What did no, you see? No, I did not. It what said, did you hey baby. I mean, if your text messages are open and a hey baby text comes through, you're asleep and I'm there, yeah, I'm gonna look over there and look at it. But I'm not looking through your phone. And So then... you saw hey baby from your side of, of, of the bed <laughs> on his phone, which was on the other side of him. You saw, you saw the words hey his baby. his phone was on the other side of the bed. Mm -hmm, exactly. Ma'am? I'm just saying. So you, you saw the words hey baby and what did you do when you saw those words? I looked. Okay. Uh huh. I looked. And what did but you I see? I didn't go through his phone. I saw "Hey baby." It said "Ding ding ding." I looked, and it said "Hey baby." Well, and what else did you see when you opened it? That was it. That was it. That was it. But listen, so I didn't say. Well, who was it from? I don't know. It was a, it, the number was not marked on there. It wasn't saved or anything like that. So I don't know who it was. Well, but it said "Hey baby," and I told him I didn't say anything about the text. But in the morning, when I now in the morning I looked again. I didn't even know who it was, <laughs> yeah, sir. Okay. When I looked Sorry. at it again, the message was erased. So if it wasn't anything or it wasn't anybody, why erase the message? So the who text? was the message from, Mr. Greer? I don't know. It yes, was the wrong he does. number. So you got a text message said, "Hey, baby," and you erased it the next day because it wasn't for you. Yes, exactly. Why don't you? Why you erase it if it wasn't because, for you? Why don't you believe him, Miss Dixon? Because I also <laughs> received a voicemail and a phone call at my job from another woman. What did she say to you? She said, well, first on the voicemail, she said something about she, I need to call her, we have something in common, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't really get into it too much or try to, you know, whatever. But then when curiosity, when I'm thinking of all the other factors, I call her back and this woman um, tells me that she has been in a relationship with Chris. Uh, she wouldn't give me specifics, but she was alluding to the fact that they had been together and it was much more serious than what, you know what I'm saying, than just a little whatever. Because when I asked her, well, what type of relationship? You could be in a relationship. I could be in a relationship with, with, with Bailiff over there. What kind of relationship are we in? Are we just texting? Are we sexting? Are we just talking on the phone? Are we, just are we on Facebook? Are we just friends? Well, do you think she'd be contacting you if she's saying that they were just homies? Well, probably not. So you what know. happened? You talked to him I about this. I submitted the voicemail, ma'am. Would you like to hear it? I would like. I would please definitely like to hear the voicemail. But Something you called her something. back. You called this woman back, and she gave you her number. Absolutely. And it's your testimony, sir. You don't know who this person no, is. No, because Kay lied before. Okay, we're going to take what? a uh, Miss Miss Dixon. You submitted some evidence in the court, Miss Dixon. I want to take an opportunity to review it. We're going to take a brief recess. Okay. the voicemail, ma'am. Would you like to hear it? I would like, I would please definitely like to hear the voicemail. Hi, this message is for Kay. K. 
Hey, I think it is. This is, um, I think you should give me a call back. Um, I have some important information that you might not know about that you need to know about. We have a lot in common. I could be reached at Okay, so on you... top of the text message, on top of the working late, on top of the out of town, on top of us not having sex, on top of the food, these numbers are not adding up at all. <laughs> wow. Well, Mr. Greer, who's the woman? I don't know. Who was, what's her name? I sir, don't... sir, I'm asking oh, you. I'm sorry. Who, who I... is you she? want me to know your woman's name? I don't know what her name is. So I you don't, don't know, know who she is? I've heard about the text message, but you know what? What Kay has done on one, time, one, one instance is that she had one of her friends FaceTime me. And it was supposed to be a, a okay, a... Mr. Greer. Mr. Greer, I'm asking you about the woman in this voicemail. I just want to make sure I understand. You said you don't know who she is. No, I don't know who she is. And so, a person who you do not know is calling Miss Dixon and telling her that she's in a relationship with you, and this is somebody you don't know. No. So why, why would why would someone do that? I don't know because she didn't leave her name. I don't I don't know. I, well, I she, have nothing no, to go on. No, she spoke to her. Yeah, so, I... so this is this is a person who's just trying to sabotage your relationship. You think? Possibly. And why would they want to do that? I don't know. I don't know, Your Honor. I really what, don't what know. Other, did you ever get any other information? Because this is now this is something that I think is problematic. It's very problematic. Did you get any other information from this woman or about her? Not too much, because again, she was elude. She wouldn't answer specifics. So it was like she wanted me, just in case I go back to him, I wouldn't have specifics for him. So it's like I'm just making up something, or it's it's kind of, it's a twisted kind of a. But you called her back. Mm -hmm. You called this woman back, Absolutely. so she gave you her number. Absolutely. And this number. Was it the same number that texted, hey, baby? See, that's what I don't know. That's what I... I, I wasn't sharp and fast enough or, or swift enough to put the two together. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I, I should have saved that number and compared it to the one that called me, but I, I missed that one. So, so let me ask you something. Did you ever find out who this woman is? <sighs> not really. Um, not, not as much. Again, it's just... It's a mystery. She's the mystery woman. Mm. But I'm, I'm going to assume that the mystery woman is the same woman. And it's your testimony, sir. You don't know who this person no, is. No, because Kay lied before. Okay, we're going to take what? a... Uh, Miss, Miss Dixon, you submitted some evidence in the court. Miss Dixon, I want to take an opportunity to review it. We're going to take a brief recess. Okay. Lied about what? What are you, you talking know about? about that, that FaceTime, that, that friend of yours. Next time on Divorce Court. Ms. Dixon, I'm going to say something to you because you wrote to Divorce Court and you said that you wanted to know the truth. Because if it's true, he hasn't been forthcoming with you, but we're going to get to the bottom of it here today and you'll get the answers that you asked this court for. I know that this is very difficult and you asked for the truth. I know it hurts. We were able to locate the witness who called you and left the voicemail for you. That witness is here in court and she has a statement that she would like to make. I'm now calling you into the courtroom to the witness stand. So, so she's here? This is just, this is way too much for me. I just, it's too much. It's too much. So this is the woman that called your fiance, Ms. Dixon? Possibly. <laughs> not that, not that. <laughs>